Well, it's always good to be in contact with the countries involved and, and with the intermediaries that are helping the countries setting up these, uh, these systems. And it's, of, of course, also good to be in my home city. I live in Brussels. <laughs> it's, uh, no, it was an interesting uh, discussion. And um, uh, I mean, of course, our concern as OECD is that these, uh, these um, programs that are, we have been discussing today are not being abused for uh, circumventing the automatic exchange standard that we have developed. Uh, we don't have a project to, let's say, to put into question the existence of these, uh, of these programs. And we want to work with these countries to make sure that they do it in a way that they preserve their reputation and that they can do it in a way that does not undermine the common risk reporting standard on which they have worked as well themselves. So you can see that the first step is to create the awareness uh, and that was part of the, I think, the, uh, the objectives also of my presence here is to, to, to make sure that people are aware of the fact that they can be used for these purposes and that that's of course not the, the intention and that's not what they were set up for. Um, the, the first step is to acknowledge that there is something to be addressed and then we can work together on, on solutions. It is new for me personally, I mean you can see that these, these programs have started already in the 80s and. Uh, uh, the, the reason why it has come to my attention is because, again, we have this uh, strategy to make sure that the automatic exchange standard uh, uh, preserves its integrity. And we hear from uh, different sources that there are in the margins uh, abuses of this. And so uh, that's why we need, to, we need to have a look at this. And, uh, and, and just like we have heard uh, that uh, the countries are concerned about uh, these, um, these programs not being exploited for money laundering purposes, we now need to work also on ways to make sure that they are not being exploited for tax evasion.